Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and quick short video on an update really quick. Um, so, apparently for some odd reason my computer just stopped working for a bit, so I'm just going to start up a new series called Let's Talk. For the meantime that I don't have a functioning computer to work with. Um, but, I mean... Yeah. So that's that's the reasoning actually for the past five days of no uploads. I do plan on still doing that. Although that's just kind of an intro uh, to what this video actually is. Just run to let you guys know really quick. Now to the legit video. Um, welcome to a series I'm calling Let's Talk. I mean, we talk all the time on this channel, we being me. <laughs> and any guest that I might have at some point in time. This actually might be where I start recording stuff. I did, I don't know, kind of depends because, I don't know, it's like whenever I, that out here I can be loud. Whenever between some time up until people try to go to sleep, which takes a very long time here. So. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, probably a new setup. It'll be a different couch within the next time you actually see the recording, but for right now, yeah. Anyway, now, to the Let's Talk video. Let's talk Markiplier. Now, what got me thinking of doing this in the first place is actually game theory, MadPat's theory on Markiplier. For those who have not seen it, pause for a moment. Stop watching this video link in the description below to his theory on it. It is actually really well done. One of the reasons I actually decided, hey, I'm gonna talk about it, because why not? Um, but yeah, go watch that before you watch the rest of this. There's gonna be, there are gonna be quite a few spoilers in this as well. There are also spoilers in that too, if you haven't seen um, A Date with Markiplier, or played it, I guess I should say. Uh, if you haven't played A Date with Markiplier, if you haven't watched Who Killed Markiplier or Markiplier TV or any of his live action things regarding the following characters, Darkiplier, Wilford Warstash, um, and any of his egos that he's done. If you haven't seen that stuff, well, kind of in the dark at this point. Don't know why you clicked on this video in the first place, being that those are gonna be a bunch of the tags, but yeah. Now, if you are still here, congrats, you probably know what I'm talking about already. Um, <clears throat> now, I just wanted to quickly talk about his theory what I and what I think about it. Um, I thought it was really well put together, first of all. I, lo I love game theory in general, and it, it actually it, it gets you thinking, which is one of the things I really <laughs> have actually gotten into doing quite a bit recently. Don't know why. <laughs> But yeah, so one of the things Matt Pat claimed, and I'm gonna start from the beginning, kind of trim it down along the way. Um, one of the first things that he stated, that he claimed, was that Markiplier's channel is being taken over by his egos. Even hinted at his little skit at the beginning of the theory, for those of you who've seen it, know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but and I, and I, it was well put through too. I was, I did not expect that at all. Um, but. He mentions a couple of things, saying that all the characters are kind of taking over his channel, and the mark in the channel part of the time isn't Mark Fishbach, it's like Mark Plyer, the character. Um, well, I, 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 can to I can actually see that just based off the being with Mark since he hit 100,000 way back when. <laughs> um, I can totally see what he means by that. If you look at, even his skits kind of gave this away. And what he has said kind of led him to using the channel name Markiplier in the first place. You think about it and it makes perfect sense. And I mean, even Mark was basically speechless about the whole theory on its own. But yeah, the alter egos started to build up over time. A lot of them, yeah, were kind of technically originally created by us, the viewers, but Dark, like Darkplier, for example, he's kind of the one who came up with like the origin and used those characters to create backstories for each one, which is cool and something you don't ever see. Which is, I believe, it's something else Matt Pat pointed out, and I totally agree with that. I mean, 
kudos to Markiplier for that, for doing that kind of thing. That's amazing. It's not something you ever see. And granted, you have seen people like Jack Septic Eye. Uh, Jack has like done skits based off of Anti Septic Eye, but I mean, they were like just kind of like just three or four times, not that often. But then you've got Mark Mark's many egos, uh, Doctor Iplier. Um, I'm just gonna say Mark is a character at this point. Uh, you've got Damien from Who Killed Mark Plier. You've got Celine, who was mentioned as kind of as a backstory of being Mark Plier's the character's girlfriend or something. But I mean, and that who gets stolen away by the general or the colonel? General, yeah, right. The colonel who later on becomes Wilford, which. I mean, come on. Anybody who's seen this stuff and still watching this, you already know that. But <laughs> I, the, the, it, I, the, I had a hard time when I first saw the theory. I had a hard time wrapping around the whole thing, my mind around the whole thing. But is, it, it was still really, really well done. And I mean, it really gets you thinking. And I mean, I commented on this when Mark first posted it, and I'm pretty sure I said specifically that it really gets you thinking about like the whole scenario and. If you put it into timeline perspective, from it going from the creation of Dark Plier through Wilford Warfstash and Mark's fake death deed that he did to drive Wilford insane, or the Colonel insane to go, turn into Wilford, Mother Love and Warfstash over time, it makes a lot of sense. Um, however, I do see if just a few hiccups in this. Uh, just just a few though not not really anything that would really alter what he has already said but one of the one of the claims was that some of the things that were stated by mark in some of his videos uh for example when he was taught he just was in one of his let's be honest in his let's be honest video he mentions that he has made shitty videos in the past but can make great videos. At that point, Matt Pat says, has he ever done this before? Has he ever said negative things about his videos before? Well, I mean, and, and I mean, Matt, no, Matt Pat claims that he hasn't, but if you think about it, he actually has. Um, not in the sense of saying directly, I make shitty videos. He doesn't say it like that, but what about his hiatus? There's a reason behind that, and it was because he felt like he was doing poorly on his channel, that his videos were going south. It, 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 for those who don't remember, this was a while ago. This was near the beginning of this year, near the end of last year. Kind of around the same time where a lot of YouTubers were doing the same thing. Jack was doing the same thing. Um, you could probably pick out like four or five other people who were doing the exact same thing. A lot of YouTubers were on a hiatus just because they, were lo they felt like they were losing their spark. And that includes of what they had in their content. Again, he doesn't upfront say I may, I've been making shitty videos, but he does claim that he needs to go on hiatus, and that would be the reasoning because he was falling apart. He was feeling like his videos were going downward spiral. He was in a bad position at the time, mentally, and that's understandable. I mean, now <laughs> you can claim that that's just Dark Applier doing crap to him or wharf stash for all you know but i mean no that's just that's the real mark having problems so there is that but i mean so yes he has actually claimed it but other than that i mean matt is pretty much right about that um aside from that uh there are a few other things that he stated that i could go in so much more detail about but i am limited on time and um being that I do have roommates who are planning on getting to bed soon, I'm just going to leave that there. It gets you thinking a little bit though. This is probably one of many, this is going to be the end of many, many, many uh, Let's Talk videos. It'll be regarding theories, regarding stuff like um, upcoming releases for like games that I'm really excited for, or kind of conversations on my own that might 
make just get me going hey what like it's just kind of what ifs or stuff like that i'm not sure yet i'm going to jot a few things down and within the time period that i'm not doing video games if i decide to do this instead or if they like if something happens where i just want to do this instead of doing like a video game thing where i can't do video games at the time i'll be doing this but yeah in any case something to think about the markiplier channel love it and i love the theories and the backstories that are being derived from it the timelines everything if you guys have not seen uh, Who Killed Markiplier, Markiplier TV, Wilford, Mother Love and Morph Stash, or A Date with Markiplier, links in the description will be below. Um, and if you haven't seen the game theory and you decided to go through this video instead of just going to that, then again, a link in the description will be below for that as well. In any case, I am going to leave this video here. Um, looking forward to doing more of these, just because. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked the video and you agree with anything I said, um, let me know in the comments below and push that like button so far you can't see it anymore. And if you have any ideas for anything nostalgic gameplay wise that you want me to do, just let me know in the comments below as well. Uh, if you have any fan games that you want me to play because apparently people have dug deep and really liked the uh, Hearts and Heroes gameplay that I did. Uh, let me know if you have if you have any links to any fan games that you want me to do youtuber wise fan games to other games uh, leave links to that in the description let me know in the description what it is whatever you got for me and i'll definitely put it on the list of things to do in the future but in any case again if you liked it push that like button so far you can't see it anymore if you really like the video uh consider subscribing to the channel I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!